Some time back, a viewer contacted me asking me to review a chair and a table. Already, we've taken a look at the Click chair. Now, folks, let's take a look at the Mission Mountain S4 table. Why this viewer was interested in these two products, I do not know. But after checking them out, I did find them to be intriguing. And that is especially true with the table. This is the Mission Mountain S4 table, and the company makes some claims that I'm questioning whether or not they're true. First things first, let's take a look at the table and let's see what we receive. My name is Luke. This is the Outdoor Gear Review. Let's get started. When it comes to the storage bag, you have a grab handle on each side. Also, this storage bag has two compartments. What we have here are the crossbars, the connection bar, the legs, along with the frame itself. We have some additional hooks, and this should be the table top. Now what we have here is blue plastic. The table is not blue. Let's go ahead and let's put this together. One of the claims made by the company is that this sets up in about 60 seconds. I'm going to disagree with that. I have set up plenty of tables just like this with the same sort of design, and usually this takes two to three minutes. Without a doubt, it's not the biggest lie of all time, and it's really not that big of a deal, but this is not a 60 second setup table. Two, three minutes, if you haven't done this before, maybe even five. But all in all, the setup process is very simple. And I have to say, now that I have this set up, the quality is impressive. This is a heavy duty table, folks. And to be honest, I wasn't sure what to expect. I've never heard of this Mission Mountain company before. I haven't heard of this table, but right out of the box with it set up, I like this. The first thing that comes to mind with this table here is just how sturdy it is. There's a little bit of shake, but it's really not bad. Compared to a lot of camp tables, they could be quite flimsy, but that's not the case here. The top of this is very rigid, and it really does stay in place, so you don't have to worry about an uneven surface here. One thing I do have a question about is height. This is adjustable, it has two levels. So let's go ahead and let's raise this up to the highest point. Well, I tell you what, let's grab a chair before we do that, and let's see if this is usable at this level. So let's say that you're at a campground, maybe you're doing some overlanding, you set up this table, set up your chair. This is at the perfect height to sit in your chair, to cook, to eat, to grab drinks, and so on. So as you can see here, with a typical folding chair, I can still come to this table and my knees can actually fit underneath it. So let's say you have two people, maybe even four people, one on each end, one at each side. All could have their knees underneath this table and they could use it. For your typical camp chair, even the taller ones, this is going to work well. Now that we've taken a look at the table and what you receive, let's go over some stats. So first off, when it's stored, we are looking at 26 inches long, and it's about 9.8 inches wide. When the table is set up, it is 23.6 inches wide, 35 and a half inches long, and again, this features two heights when it comes to the legs, 21 inches tall or 16 and a half inches tall. You can remove the legs and have this even lower, but it's only four inches tall, so I'm not sure how you usable that really is. This table is made from aluminum and steel, along with some plastic. And when it comes to the weight limit, I found three different figures on the Mission Mountain website. 120 pounds, 
140 pounds. And then I read that the table is stable up to 66 pounds. So what is the weight limit for this table? I have no idea. But the truth is, I can't imagine anyone putting more than 50 pounds on this thing. With that being said, there is a picture, and I don't remember if it's on the Amazon listing or the Mission Mountain website, but it looks like someone is actually sitting on this table. And I guess you could, as long as you're under 140 or 120, or maybe it's 66, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure if the company knows, to be honest. The weight of the table is 9.4 pounds. And when it comes to cost, the retail price is $100. But at the time of filming, you can find it on Amazon for 80 bucks with a $10 off coupon. That's where I purchased this table, and that's the price that I paid. I will say this, on the Amazon listing, it shows two different models. One they say is black, the other they say is new black. I have no idea what the difference is between those two listings. I purchased the new black version. Now everybody, let's go over the claims that the company makes concerning this table. They say that it sets up in about 60 seconds. I think that's very generous. Two, three, four minutes, something like that. That makes sense. They say this is a six person table with four adults and two kids. I would say not accurate. I think it makes more sense for two adults, two kids, or four adults. Basically, everybody gets their own side. Having two adults side by side on the longest sides, I don't think that really adds up, unless we're talking about really small individuals. The company says that the top of this table is waterproof, and it's also anti-heat. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure what they mean by that statement. Are they stating that you can place hot items on top of this table with no issues? I don't know. Out of all of the claims that the company makes, those are the most interesting ones that I've seen. Now everybody, let's talk about my impressions of this table and my thoughts so far. As far as the quality goes with this table, I am very impressed. From the get-go, this is a very nice product. The storage bag, it's well thought out, well made. Each of the components are thick and substantial, and the table is sturdy. Plus, you can pick this table up, move it around with ease, and you can see that it doesn't bow and it doesn't flex. Breaking the table down, putting it up, that's easy enough. The stored size isn't bad. This is not a backpacking table by any means, but even inside of your vehicle, it's not going to take up much space. At the same time, it does offer a fairly large tabletop. There is plenty of room here. Weight-wise, not bad. Around 10 pounds, it makes sense, especially for the materials. As far as the value goes for this table, for $80, I think this makes a lot of sense. Even 100 bucks, from what I've seen so far, I think it's worth the money. <laughs> When it comes to the two products that I was requested to review, the click chair and this table, I have to say I wasn't impressed with the click chair, but I am impressed with this table, the Mission Mountain S4. This looks to be a high quality table. As far as the price, I can't say that it's overly expensive or anything like that. I personally have plenty of camp tables. Some cost 60 bucks and the quality is quite a bit lower than this. So at 80 bucks, I think it's more than fair. Now, keep this in mind, everybody. I'm just now beginning to test this out. I'm going to test this out throughout the winter. We'll go into next spring, and ultimately I will put up my review. In the meantime, feel free to shoot me an email, ask me a question, I'll tell you how it's going as far as the testing goes. Based upon my initial impressions, I think this is a go. This looks to be awesome. In fact, I cannot wait to take this out on my next overland trip. With my truck set up, I think this is going to work really, really well. I am curious to hear from you all. What do you all think about this table? Also, have you ever heard of this company before? Mission Mountain. For some reason, I want to say Mountain Mission, but whatever. I may have actually said that in this episode. This is the Mission Mountain S4. What are your thoughts? Comment down below. If you have any experience with this company, share it with the community. I personally would appreciate it, and I know others would as well. If you have enjoyed this episode, hit the thumbs up. It helps a lot. If you want to support a channel that's agenda-free, a channel that's sharing information and not selling products, the Outdoor Gear Review is a great place to start. Everyone, take care. Be well. Also, make sure to check out my second YouTube channel. It's called A Quiet Place Adventures. You will find new adventures every single week on that channel, in addition to the adventures that I have here on the Outdoor Gear Review. I'm done for now, everybody. Be good, be safe, take care, strengthen all.